Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel and you're watching the Vlogging Equipment Unboxing Part 3 and I'm sorry it's been a while that I've posted a video because I'm really busy recently and also I'm waiting for the items or equipment that I will be unboxing as part of this series. Um, and because of that, um, I will be announcing something later so keep on watching. Today, uh, we will be discussing more about microphone and also, of course, uh, we will be unboxing my Xiaokoa UHF lavalier wireless microphone and um, if it's your first time uh, to be on my channel, uh, click on the uh, subscribe button, give this video a like and also hit that bell notification so that you will be notified with my future videos. And if you haven't watched this part 2 of my uh, vlogging equipment unboxing, then you can click on the link above so that um, you will be directed to that video. So to begin with, as a vlogger, let's start by rolling the intro. <laughs> have a microphone well the only answer to that is that we need to be heard it's really no sense for you of talking in front of your camera and doing your vlogs if you're not being heard right um, it's like um, you're leaving a question mark to your viewers because they don't understand uh, what you are saying unless you are um, recording a part of a movie like a quiet place or um, you're playing the games wherein your viewers will be guessing what you are saying but definitely, um, it is really essential for filmmakers, uh, content creators, and bloggers to have microphones. Let me show you the different microphone uh, that I have. And um, also, let's try it out. Uh, how that does it sound when you're using this microphone? So let's start with your mobile phone's mouthpiece. If you purchase a mobile phone um, normally, um, you will not be getting an earphone as part of the box or a freebie. But if you're lucky, then definitely, yes, you can have it. But yep, uh, in terms of your mobile phones, um, if you haven't got that earphone as part of the box or the freebie, then you can use your mobile phone's mouthpiece. Um, it is good because it's, it can uh, record your voice whilst uh, doing the video. However, it also records the background noises um like uh the barking of the dogs or the clucking of the chickens and uh yeah uh, it will be hard for you to do the audio editing but yep um as a starter then definitely yes uh you can use your mobile phone's mouthpiece so um i cannot show you um, a sample of my mobile phone's mouthpiece because that's the one that i'm using right now i'm using my mobile phone in um, recording this video but yep uh, let's try how does it sound using my mobile phone's mouthpiece this is marvel's when i speak using my mobile phone's mouthpiece if you're lucky enough and you are able to get um, an earphone or headphone as part of the box or as part of the freebie when you purchase your mobile phone, then definitely yes. You can also use that um, as your microphone. You can use the mouthpiece of it. So um, it's same thing with your mobile phone's mouthpiece. Um, it also um, records the background noise unless you are able to get um, uh, an earphone or a headphone that has a built-in uh, noise reduction, then definitely yes, uh, the background noise will be minimal. But yep, um, it can still record background noises like the barking of the dogs and the clucking of the chickens. And the example of that is this one. Um, I got this as a freebie. Um, this is the uh, JBL um, stereo headphone, um, and this is the uh, mouthpiece. So um, if you will be using this, um, most likely you will be wearing it, but um, if, it's, if you wear it for a long period of time, then definitely you will feel the uneasiness and also, or the pain in your ears. 
and um, also um, if you can see the cord is not that too lengthy and so you need to be near to your uh, device or your mobile phone um, when doing the recording because yeah you are you you have a limited um, distance from your uh, mobile phone but definitely yes um, it's still a good one um, you just have for me the the only way for you to record your voice um, without wearing it is like just holding the uh, earphone or the headphone and you know placing your uh, the mouthpiece near to your mouth whilst talking so yep that's the uh, this is the uh, second um, example of the microphone that you can use and let's try how does it sound using my uh, JBL um, headphone. This is my voice when I speak using my JBL stereo headphone. The third microphone that you can use is the wireless earphone or earbuds. Um, you can uh, get this if you're lucky enough as part of the freebie uh, when you purchase your mobile phone, but most likely no. So you will be purchasing a separate one. And um, it's way better than the earphone or the earbuds, uh, the wired one, because you can have a good distance from your, mo uh, from your mobile phone or your camera. And also, um, mo uh, most likely it has a built-in uh, noise reduction so that the background noise will be uh, minimal. Um, such that, of course, if you will be using it, you will be wearing it, and if it's if you will be wearing it for a long period of time, then you will be um, feeling the uh, uneasiness or the pain in your ears. But yeah, uh, one example of that is my uh, Proton um, True Wireless Earbuds. Um, I got this for around $26. And yep, um, I'm using this um, before um, as, a, as my microphone since yep, uh, I can move freely when uh, I'm speaking. But yep, um, let's try how does it sound when you're using this Proton uh, to wireless earbuds. This is my voice when I speak using my Proton wireless earbuds. If you already watch uh, my previous videos and definitely you've already heard my voice using this uh, fourth microphone. So the fourth microphone is the condenser microphone. Uh, this is the microphones that's being used for voiceovers and especially if you are doing the, the song covers. So uh, with this microphone, um, it can definitely recognize the human voice very clearly, um, such that sometimes it also um, record the background noises. But yep, uh, definitely uh, this is a good one if you're doing the voiceovers or the song covers. So um, this is the example of the uh, condenser microphone. Uh, I got this, um, just the generic one. Uh, but yeah, definitely, even if it's just the generic, um, I'm still able to record um, a good uh, voiceover with this. So yeah, um, still, even you've already heard um, my voice using this uh, condenser microphone, then we will still do the um, how does it sound using this condenser microphone. This is my voice when I speak using my condenser microphone. So the fifth microphone that you can use is uh, what I call the vlogging microphone or the shotgun or mini shotgun microphones. Um, these are the microphones that you usually see um, that the vloggers is uh, using. Um, it has this uh, built-in uh, noise reduction so that the background noise will be minimal. Um, it can recognize human voice very clearly and also it has the windshield wherein um, it can minimize the sound or the noise that the wind blows is making, especially if you are doing the vlog outdoors or um, doing it uh, whilst on a uh, moving vehicle. 
But yep, uh, this is the most recommendable uh, type of microphone um, that you can use for you as a vlogger. So um, one example of it is this one. Uh, this is the uh, Boya BY MM1 um, mini shotgun microphone. So um, you can connect it either on a mobile phone or on your camera. Um, and uh, this is the actual mic, or the shotgun mic. And uh, this is the windshield, so that, um, again, to minimize the noise that the wind blows is making. So, uh, yeah, um, if you will see, um, this is the type of microphone that the beginners are using. And definitely, as I mentioned, this is the most recommendable type of microphone um, if you are um, starting to do the vlogs. So, now let's try... How does it sound um, using this uh, Boya BY MM1 uh, mini shotgun microphone? This is my voice when I speak using my Boya BY MM1 mini shotgun microphone. So the sixth and the last uh, microphone that I will be um, showing is the one that we will be unboxing, which is the lavalier uh, microphone. There's two types of it, the wired one and the wireless one. So, of course, if the wired one, uh, it's the same thing. You will have um, a limited distance from your camera, unlike the wireless one, which is the one that I've got. And um, it's the same thing. Um, it can recognize uh, your voice clearly, and also it has this noise reduction and the wind uh, shield um, so that the uh, wind blows noise uh, will be uh, reduced. So um, I've already showed you uh, the box of my Xiaokoa UHF Lavalier Wireless Microphone. So let's see what's inside the box. And of course, later we will be trying it. This is the Xiaokoa UHF Lavalier Wireless Microphone. Earlier, I've shown you the box. So let's open the box and see what is inside. The first thing that you will see is the user manual. Since you will uh, get a user manual, as I mentioned on my previous vlogs, if you get a user manual, I highly suggest is to read it so that you will know more about the device and uh, for you not to break it on the first day of use. You will also see the warranty details and also the customer service information on the user manual. So that's it with the user manual. Next is the microphone and the transmitter. This is the reduction foam cover of the mic. Uh, this is the clip so that you can properly place the microphone. Then that's uh, the mic inside the reduction foam and it is connected to the actual uh, transmitter. So it has a clip so that you can also properly place the transmitter. It has the minus and the plus sign so that you can increase or decrease the volume of your voice. And also, you will see there the USB charging port um, and the power button. It's actually a micro uh, USB pipe pin. Let's 
transcript with the uh, transmitter. Next is the receiver. This is the one that you connect to your device. It also has this uh, USB, a micro USB 5 pin, and also the power button, and of course the jack. So if you turn it on, you will see a blue light there. You will also see the same thing if you uh, turn on the transmitter. I actually forgot to show it. It's auto uh, pair, so you don't need to do anything. So let's just turn it off. Turn it off. Let's go now with the accessories. So the first accessory is the charging cord. It has two five pin micro USB and the USB. Connect it to the transmitter and also the receiver. It doesn't have the power plug. So you can use a spare power plug or you can connect to your uh, power bank or laptop or computer to charge the transmitter and the receiver. The second accessory is the audio jack adapter, just in case that the audio jack doesn't fit on your device. So it works like this. There, you just have to plug it in. And then, yeah, um, you can plug it into your uh, device. Again, if it doesn't, uh, the existing one doesn't fit um, on your device. So let's return everything. Okay, that's it. That's what inside the UHF Lavalier wireless microphone. I hope you like it. So please give this video a like. And of course, now we will try to do how does it sound using this Xiaokoa UHF Lavalier wireless microphone. using my Xiaokoa UHF Lavalier wireless microphone. I hope I was able to help you decide what will be the best microphone for you. And as I mentioned earlier, I will be announcing something. So, I'll be giving out two tripods and all you need to do is to just like this video and uh, subscribe to my uh, channel. And also, answer these two questions. Uh, the first one is, why I called my tripod gen and the second one is how did you learn about this promotion so comment the answer uh, below and I will be picking two lucky winners for this uh, tripod um, yep so um, thank you for watching and paalam